shit on. I just be breaking a heart. Breaking a heart. Come on, heart. 13. I like 12 or 13, bro. Okay. You said you was going to soccer wars again? Yeah, I was. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What happened again? So, all right, my first experience in the uh, site war, right, I was I was sitting in the house, and I guess I had, like, a lucid dream or some shit. Like, you know, with the, the dream where you can't move type shit. Yeah. Uh, sleep paralysis, I was experiencing sleep paralysis at the time. I'm, I didn't know what the fuck no sleep paralysis was. So I'm thinking I'm having a weird-ass dream, like a dream, like a dark dream. Like, I can't move. I can see the shit, but I'm not moving. So as a kid, I'm freaked out. You feel me? I'm seeing a black shadow go all across the room and shit. Like, I'm really scared. I'm, this as a kid. Like, this is what... black shadows? Yeah, the bitch flying across... <laughs> I ain't mean to call it no bitch, but the thing flying across the room, man. Like, you feel me? But I'm asleep. So I can't... And it, Motherfucker got me like this, and I can't move. I could, you know, I can move my eyes, but I can't speak. I can't move my. And you was how old when this happened? I was like 12, 13. Like, did you have you, uh, did you smoke when you was 12 or 13? No, it was before the week. I didn't start smoking until I was 14. I started smoking after this shit. Okay. <laughs> like, this is what made me start smoking. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I ain't start smoking until after this. That ain't no cap. Like, yeah, this way, this way, yeah, it was yeah, like, I got you, I got you, I got you. because bro, I, when I when I finally got able to get out that dream or get out that rim or whatever it was, man, I fucking ran downstairs to my mama. I said, I forgot what I told her, but it was basically insinuating, mama, I think I'm crazy type shit. Like, I need to, like, I need to talk to somebody type shit. So, fuck around and, you know, and doctors, they, they take that shit, like, serious because they know the effect of it, right? So, when my mom, the way that my mom presented it to them, you know, I guess it was like a 911 emergency type shit. Like, because my mom, like, she she very hell bent on mental health just because she was a mental health patient herself. Or she experienced mental health herself growing up and shit like that. So she tried her best, like, when we were raising, like, when we were growing up and she was raising us, she tried her best to, um, you know, nurture our mental and protect our mental and make sure that our mental was, you know, well intact, you know. So she took it to the doctors, and I guess the doctors just ran with that shit, man. And, and folks shit me. I was like four hours away. Three hours away for like a week. And I got it, I got in that bitch and I'm seeing like this is what made me realize, okay, I'm not really crazy though, cause I'm 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 seeing folks that is really diagnosed with with they got real chemical imbalances. You feel me? So this is what made me try to, you know, look at it in a different light. You know, like, okay, I got a gift probably, rather than I'm fucked up. I because when I would go in those in those site wars, like when I was thirteen and I went in that site ward for the first time, I'm seeing like a, a big Man from Africa, like he big, big shit, nigga six six nine, like three fifty type yeah. shit. You feel me, nigga big, yeah. Yeah. but the nigga got into it with a slim Jamaican, like nigga he slim, he got dreads. You feel me, type shit. So the Jamaican was in the using the bathroom. I guess he was taking too long for the African. You feel me, man? The African spaz, like he this, this, at sight ward, bro. These folks got boats in the doors that's intentional for you not to remove these shit. Like you can't snatch the dog, man. The African took that door out the hands of Damn. That's and grab that boy ass out the bathroom. Yeah. Ain't even punch him a neck. He just wanted to use the bathroom, but this is how like chemically imbalanced they is. They don't they don't know that he didn't know that what he was doing was a very like like bad act, really. He yeah, yeah, me type yeah. shit. <laughs> but all he you wanted sure to he do, ain't no bro. He didn't, because when he when he, he didn't even like he didn't even beat Buddy up. He didn't put his hand, he just grabbed him out the bathroom and just went and like it was just normal. Yeah. And just went back to, oh, his, to his little room, you feel that's me? That's crazy. You like animalistic type dude. Yeah. So it was like, damn, like, it, and then you just sit back and you realizing, you sending your emotions, like, not, not even being in that situation, but watching that situation play out. And you're like, damn, I got way more awareness of my emotions. I got way, way more um, awareness of my thoughts yeah. than this person or, you know, whatever. And it's kind of like, okay, it made me, it made me more interested in that shit too. And it made me want to learn myself a lot, lot more because I didn't. I I never wanted to be to the point where I couldn't think for myself, or I didn't know. I didn't know how to control my thinking, or I didn't know the the effect of my thinking. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, for sure. Let me ask you this, man. So when you was having like, cause I be I be wondering a lot of times when we go through stuff in life, we call it mental health issues because we don't understand. You know, you don't know when you're 13 years old and you're seeing stuff that's supernatural. It could be more of a blessing than a curse. You just don't know because you can't explain it because no you one can't. ever because can nobody tell you what's going on. You, oh, I got another person personality too. His name's Skits, yeah. which is uh, schizophrenia shit, right? Okay. And another mental health uh, uh, thing, like when you going through that shit, bro. Like when when I was going through this whole ordeal of getting diagnosed schizophrenic, it wasn't that you know I was hearing voices or I was. That ain't what it was. It was more so me trying to talk myself into understanding myself, right? 
Yeah. And me trying to understand, okay, I know that I have a decision. I know that I have a choice. I could either do the wrong thing, something that's very radical, something that uh, probably won't make sense five minutes from now after I've done it, or I could do something that's probably going to, like, it's going to sting to do it, but it's going to work out better in the future rather than yeah. reacting in that moment. Yeah. Shit. Mm-hmm. That's how I control that's how I control my my mindset now. Um because maybe even a year ago, maybe even five months ago, I wasn't this um calm. I wasn't this open minded. Like I was very like I reacted off emotions. And I took time to really just learn myself and really create like form better habits. Cause that's important. Like I don't really I don't really do too much of what I used to do because uh, I'm focused now. I got to go. I'm locked in. That's something that I want to do. So I'm trying to do that at every chance I get. I'm even too busy for myself sometimes just because it's this is what I want to do. So if I see myself in my high, in my highest form and I know what I got to do, I'm going to do that. I ain't trying to do nothing else. I ain't trying to chill. I ain't trying to kick it. I'm going to smoke. I smoke weed. You feel me? Like, I'm going to do that. But I ain't going to, yeah. as far as, like, socializing. Now, I socialize for an hour, but after that, I started to feel like, giving too much time. I'm losing time from actually doing shit like this and, you know, doing something way better than what I'm just sitting in right now. Hearing people talk about other people, hearing people complain and shit like that. Like, nah, I don't want to sit around that. Yeah. I don't want to sit around that. Like, so it's, like, different for me. And going through mental health, you just, it, it'll open your eyes to a lot, bro, because you'll see how people will treat you when you are defined as crazy or when you're deemed as, um... But ain't nobody really know you crazy, though. Nah, they didn't that, but but the people see that's what sucked though, because the people that didn't know that I was diagnosed with mental health my like basically my entire life, they didn't they wouldn't understand why I was the way I was. Like yeah. I'm always laughing, I'm always smiling, I'm always joking, but that's because I know that I come from a very dark place within my mind. Yeah. Not more so of my surroundings or nothing. Like, yeah, I was struggling and shit like that, but my mom made sure we had to, you know, we were happy, we were satisfied for sure. Yeah. So it wasn't really, you know, my uh, physical surroundings, it was just how I just viewed everything. I was I was a hard ass on myself as a kid, like just because I knew that I had way lesser than other kids. Yeah. So it was like I wanted more. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like when I was going through that shit, I just I just knew how to be like social then and I knew how to be because I wanted to be a part of the crowd. I was a real crowd please. I know how to make the crowd laugh and just engage in the crowd. Just basically off of like just going through all those dark times and feeling like I was so alone. That's why I knew how to be around a lot of people and gotcha. not nobody know what was going on because I only feel, I knew, I knew to only feel that kind of way when I was alone. Like I'm not going to, I've never been a person to go out here and, you know, project my personal energy and whatever the fuck I'm going through on somebody else. Hell no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to mess up your day because you're probably having an awesome day. Like you're probably having a great day, and I'm, but I'm, I'm coming over here with all this great cloud shit telling you, man, I, I'm short on my bills. I'm, I ain't got no clothes. I ain't. I'm telling you all this ass shit really just raining on your parade. Like, nah, I'm not finna do that. You, you. I'm not finna do that. Hell nah. Oh, you got a new job, man. Congratulations, man. What they starting you out at? Damn, when you got that job, boy, I'm proud of you. I'm not that person that's gonna be like, man, I need to find me a job. Hell nah, I'm gonna go get me a job. I'm not finna just, nah, this man got a job. Let's let's sit in that. Let's 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 parade that. You feel me? Or this girl got a job, but this girl just went to college. Let's parade that. Let's not just not let's not say damn, I, I need to go to college. Hell no. This is this person's light. This is this person's day. Don't take away from it. You'll have your day if you work towards it, and if you really want it, <laughs> you'll have your day. Just don't shine on nobody else's. Don't go. Whatever you were going through at the house, leave that shit at the house. Don't bring that in the outside world. Definitely, man. That's going to that's gonna run a lot of opportunities for you. 